Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video is part three of the Ford Ranger 5-speed swap video series. And today's video is gonna be all about wiring. I did talk about this a little bit in part two, how I noticed that I thought that the transmission harnesses were gonna be quite a bit different where, where they hooked up to the engine. And um, sure enough, when I finally got this out of the truck, you could see um, the one here, this is the manual transmission harness. This is the automatic transmission harness. The plugs where they meet the engine harness are totally different. So I mentioned in the last video that if this happened, I'd probably have to swap out the entire engine harness. Um, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna actually talk about another option that I'm probably gonna go ahead and do instead of doing that. And um, hopefully that'll work well for you also. All right, so let's talk about the differences between the two harnesses. Um, back near the rear of the harness, they're actually the same. You have the same vehicle speed sensor plugs, uh, rear two sensor plugs. But then we start to see some differences between the two, where the manual transmission harness just has two wires for the backup lights. The automatic has the uh, transmission range sensor plug, which includes the backup lights, but there's also a lot of other controls there um, to tell the truck what you know if the truck's in park, or reverse, drive, and so on. Um, forward of that, we have all of the transmission control um, wiring for the automatic transmission here, where obviously the manual transmission harness doesn't have any of that. And then we get up to the front here where you have the uh, main hookup on the manual transmission, and this is the O2 sensor. Um, on the automatic transmission harness, you have one plug that seems to be dedicated just for the transmission control, and then all of the other wires, including the O2 sensor, are integrated into this one larger plug. All right, so as I mentioned before, you could swap out your entire engine harness um, to match up with what's needed for the manual transmission harness. I'm gonna do something a little different though. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little hybrid adapter harness that's gonna plug into my manual transmission harness and then cross over and plug to my original harness that's in the truck right now. Personally, I don't really wanna go through the trouble of swapping over the entire engine harness, especially on one that's so old. Um, my truck's about 25 years old and these harnesses tend to get brittle after a while and I'm worried that I'm gonna just break a lot of connectors and things like that while I do that. So I feel like making this adapter harness is gonna be a lot better. So how am I gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna steal this plug and a large section of the wire from this harness and I'm gonna cut that out of there. And that's, this is the plug that's gonna get used to plug into my engine. The other end of that is gonna have the matching plugs that hook up to the manual transmission harness and I'm cutting those off of the donor vehicle's harness. It doesn't need to be very long, it just needs to adapt the two harnesses together. Um, and from what I can tell so far, all the colors match up for the various different sensors and plugs that are needed. Um, so this should be pretty straightforward. Regardless though, I recommend you get like a Haynes or a Chilton's manual, something that has some decent schematics in it that you can go off of just to verify your wires and colors. All right, so I've already stripped out the sections of wires that I need out of the other harness. So what I need to do now is go ahead and strip this plug and some of the wire out of that one. Um, so let's go ahead and get that done. All right, before I strip this out any further, I just wanted to talk about something I just noticed. Um, I saw a repeat wire color. It was a white wire with a black stripe um, between these two plugs. And the transmission range harness has one of those, and the O2 sensor back here has one of those. So I needed to try to figure out, okay, which one's which. Um, ideally, I thought that the one for the transmission range sensor was gonna go through here, um, since that seemed to be transmission control related wiring. Um, so when I checked it out, and it appears that that wire actually um, goes back to the rear O2 sensor. I'll show you here. So what that means is that I'm gonna to have to use this plug also as part of this adapter harness. Um, so we'll just keep going. That's one thing you just gotta make sure, you know, as you go through, it probably helps to have a meter. Um, just verify all your wiring as well as colors. Like I said, this is a repeat color that I noticed, so I wanted to make sure where it went.
All right, everybody, so the adapter harness is complete. You can see here I have it plugged into the uh, manual transmission harness. I actually did take this out to the truck and plug it in, and I uh, was able to verify that it will start the truck um, with this in place. I also verified function of the backup lights for the backup light plug and everything. Um, I didn't actually start the truck because it's in uh, it's a part right now. The transmission is not in it, so the starter is not connected properly either. Um, but it looks like it works pretty good. So this is definitely an option over actually swapping out the entire engine harness, and I was able to make it in a lot less time than it would take to do that anyway. Um, that works pretty well. Um, I will have to deal with the uh, clutch position switch um, issue that I mentioned in an earlier video. Right now, the truck will start uh, regardless of the position of the clutch pedal. Uh, wouldn't bother most people. I might actually try to change that to make it function like it should. We'll see. I'll talk about that in a later video. I will make a pinout diagram of the automatic transmission harness and where these various wires and what the colors were um, for my truck. Um, I'll put that up on the screen here in this video. Um, I will say though you can use that at your own risk. Um, every vehicle might have different uh, wire colors and things like that. Um, but I will say that everything seemed to match up just fine to the Haynes manual that I have. With that said, I highly recommend that you check all your wires with a meter or at the very minimum a continuity tester uh, to make sure you wired everything correctly. Alright, so from here on out on the swap, it's pretty much going to be assembling everything back together with the manual transmission parts. Uh, so the next couple of videos are going to be a lot of that, um, installing the clutch, doing some of the maintenance work on the uh, transmission like the seal replacements and the release bearing replacement like I wanted to do. Um, so that's what you'll probably see on the next couple of videos. Um, so that's all I have for today. I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.